What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the best Need for Speed video games. Let's get right into this. So as you guys can probably tell, I am a huge Need for Speed fan. I absolutely love the series ever since I was a little kid. I absolutely love the street racing and customizing vehicles to my liking. So today I have a small list of the games that I consider to be the best Need for Speed video games. Up first is Need for Speed Pro Street. It came out in 2007, and it's a little bit different than the typical street racing games that we've seen from Need for Speed because it was set on legal closed circuits. It included race types like drag races, drifting, grip races, and top speed races, and I always had a lot of fun with it. I always collected as many vehicles as I could, customized them to my liking, and just loved going through and trying the different race styles. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of drifting, so I had a lot of fun playing this game, even though it wasn't street racing, which is one aspect that I love in the Need for Speed series. It was on closed circuits. I still considered it a lot of fun. Next is Need for Speed 2015. This game was a lot of fun. I ended up getting the Platinum Trophy on the PS4 for it, and it included, for the first time to my knowledge, live action cutscenes. So instead of animated people for the cutscenes made in studio, it's actual live actors that they used. So it had a very movie-esque aspect to the game and I thought that was a lot of fun. We also see an appearance from Ken Block, who is one of the best drift racers in the world in my opinion. You get to race him, or race with him I guess, but you do have to beat him, and you can win his Hooligan Mustang, which I thought was incredible. There was amazing customization options for your vehicles, and there was five racing styles. There was speed, style, crew, build, and outlaw races that you could complete. It was a lot of fun. I absolutely loved this game, and I spent a lot of time playing it on the PS4. Next is Need for Speed Carbon. It came out in 2006, and this was introducing more customization options for your vehicles than the previous games had at that time. There was three different vehicle classes, which included exotic, tuner, and muscle cars, and you got to race against crews instead of individual racers. So it was a little bit of a change for the street racing scene, but it was still a lot of fun and I absolutely loved this game back on the PS2. Next is Need for Speed The Run. It came out in 2011 and it basically focuses on point-to-point -point racing where you have to overtake a certain amount of opponents to win that section of the campaign or career, but you also at certain points have to evade police. The small point-to-point -point racing is a continuation, which is a larger race that starts from San Francisco and you have to race all the way to New York. So you cross all of America, which is a lot of fun. You get to go through a lot of great cities along the way throughout the race, and it's a lot of fun. The only downfall, in my opinion, to this game, which I personally can look past, is the fact that you cannot collect and store and purchase vehicles and use them on your own pleasure. You have to go and basically find them at a garage and just swap out your vehicle to a new vehicle and you have to continue to use that until you get to swap it out again. There's no real customization options for your vehicles other than I think paint and rims. So that for me was a downfall, but just the huge race from San Francisco to New York across America, I love that aspect and I absolutely love that for this game. Next is Need for Speed Rivals. It came out in 2013 and it was the last Need for Speed game that came out on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. In this game, you get to take on the role of a racer or a cop, which I love that aspect in the Need for Speed games. Racers have the typical speed lists, so the different races that you can go and play, and cops had different assignments which were to try to take down the racers and it was a lot of fun getting to choose whether you wanted to race at that time as a racer or if you wanted to play as a cop. I love this game. I love the cops and racers aspect to it and that's why I wanted to add it on this list. And the last game on my list for the top and my favorite Need for Speed video games is the last one that came out, Need for Speed Heat. It came out in 2019. For this game you get a switch between racing during the day and nights. Day races are legal racing events that help you earn cash. However, the night races 
are illegal street races to help you earn RP. You need to earn RP to be able to lock different vehicles and upgrades for your vehicles, but you also need the cash to be able to purchase those vehicles and to get those upgrades. However, the higher that your RP goes up, the more aggressive the cops become at night and they try to take you down. If you get to evade the cops at night, you get to have a multiplier for how much heat was on you at night to multiply your RP. But if you get arrested, you just get your standard amount of RP. It is a lot of fun. I love the night and day races, how you have to do night races to earn RP to unlock your stuff. But you need to do day races to also earn the money to be able to purchase it. I thought that was a great aspect for the game. The police presence is insane. And the fact that you can do a lot more customization options for your vehicles. For example, you can purchase a vehicle and swap out a completely new upgraded engine. Instead of just doing parts, you can do a full engine. I thought that was very awesome for it to have in the game. I absolutely love this game. And that's why I can't wait to see what the next Need for Speed game is. But this one here is the best performance wise in my opinion. So these are the best Need for Speed games in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what is your favorite Need for Speed game made. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.